Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alea, North Korean owner of Made by Lily. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a tumbler like this using only two items. Well, three. I used acrylic paints and we're going to be using school glue and spray paint. And it's a little different than using Dawn Dish Soap. So let's get into today's tutorial. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it. Alrighty crafty fam, so here I am just getting ready to lay my acrylic paints and you have you guys have seen me do the beat it method before and I'll link a card up it below where I did a Mardi Gras um, beaded tumbler and here I wanted to do a um, design and I got this design idea from Simon. Look at all that paint on accident. My gosh. Anyways, um, Simon holographic if i'm saying it wrong i will put a um his actual name here right here and so i got an idea from watching someone's video and i'll link all of it in the video and in my description box everything i use will be linked in the description box and um the only thing that i did differently was the direction that i went i went in a vertical way instead of a horizontal way with my beads and that is because i actually forgot how to do this method um so i just went with it and i actually liked it the outcome of it so um here i'm just spreading out my acrylic paints because um i was only using four colors and yeah so and it was pretty thick and yeah other than that um, this whole method was pretty easy. I let my paint sit for about seven hours to fully dry. And then after that, I went ahead and put my Elmer's glue on top. But um, I won't talk too much just because it's pretty self-explanatory. You put the paints on top and it's acrylic paints. I didn't wet them with any water or nothing. I just put them on there. Um, this cup I did um, strip. This was a peekaboo tumbler from my St. Patty's Day um, cup, and I'll insert a picture, and I'll link my video up at the top. And yeah, so I'm going to be quiet and just put some music on, and I hope you enjoy um, the video. And once again, I will pop in and out to talk. But um, yeah, here's my, once again, here's my inspiration, and I hope you'll let me know that I came close to the inspiration at the end of the video. Let me know in the comments now below.
Isn't she just gorgeous? So after you do all that blending, like makeup or something, it's all worth it in the end. And I wasn't even trying to achieve this design, but it ended up coming out like this and I actually really liked it. But yeah. Alrighty, so after I let this sit for about seven hours, um, because this is acrylic paint that I used, um, if this was... So I didn't tell you, um, and I'll probably mention it in my voiceover, but this idea that I got, I got from Simon, Simon Holographics, I believe. Um, I got the color scheme choices from Simon Holographic, but I got the video idea from Duncan Art, and I'll link all this in my video, and I probably already mentioned it in my voiceover while I was doing my little bead method. But once again, this is inspired by two other people and go ahead and follow their channel. Um, one's Instagram, I'll link below, and then the other has a YouTube channel that I'll link below. But um, I wanted to use acrylic paint because I don't have spray paint in these colors. I have purple, but I don't have blue, green, or pink. So I decided to do um, acrylic paint and I decided to do the beat method because I really like it. Um, so I am going to use Elmer's school glue here and this is what we are going to do and there is no rhyme or reason. I got this from Walmart for 50 cents because my Dollar Tree did not have it but um, we are going to turn it on here. My Tumblr turner is going to make a sound, so I apologize. Um, let me go ahead and put a piece of paper towel on me. And then it doesn't really matter um, what uh, you put underneath here as long as it catches. But um, it doesn't really matter what kind of design you do. Um, if you want less glue, the more of this will show, or the less of this will show, I'm sorry. If you use more glue, the more of this will, the more of your design will show. So I'm gonna try and go for it in between because some of my tumbler does show. Um, so I will go for a more in between kind of look here. And um, once I'm done, I'm going to spray paint it black because that is the inspiration I'm going for. And I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte, I believe. And then once you put epoxy over it, it's going to turn clear anyways. So. Oh, hold on. I closed it. I have tried the Dawn dish soap method and um, oops, cut that in my tumbler. And um, that was pretty hard um, just because it didn't, I don't know, I just didn't see a, anything with it. Um, and especially since I first started doing tumblers but this is I've been doing tumblers for a year now so so there we go But I did seal this um, prior to this. I sealed it with some clear um, because I didn't want to rinse off my acrylic paint while before while I rinsed the um, glue off. So there we go. I think it's pretty nice. Um, so we're just gonna let this sit. Um, in Duncan's video or the video I watched, 
he let his spin for about 30 to 40 minutes. He didn't give a specific step um, or a list of steps. So I'm just gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and then I'll take it outside and I'll let it, um, I'll spray paint it down and then I'll bring it back and let that sit for two hours and then I will rinse it off in the sink. Alrighty, so it's been, um, I let the glue sit for about 35 minutes. Um, I let it sit for a little bit longer just because I went ahead and I put a little bit more glue at the bottom. Here's what she is looking like. And I didn't put a lot because I wanted some of my design to peek through. But this is what I'm using. Um, I'm using the two time ultra matte. So this is what she is looking like after she is spray painted. And once again, I use the two times ultra matte Rust-Oleum. And I'm going to, oh my goodness, it is starting to show. There it is. I had to respray paint it right quick, but um, I want to let this sit for two hours, an hour or two at the most. And then, um, yeah, I rinse it off in the sink and um, I'll be back with the finished product. So here is the final look and I'll do more of it up close um, here in another clip and I'll just insert it. But um, I like to do a pros and cons or like a takeaway of what I like to, of what I'll do differently. So I'm going to strip this and redo it. Um, I'm probably going to use spray paint instead of acrylic paint just to um, kind of see differently um, because when I was scrubbing it off, I had a, some of my paint came off. And then on top of that, um, I still feel like there is some glue that is still on here. So it's not a bad technique. I just feel like I didn't let it sit all the way. And then on top of that, um, I think using spray paint is a little bit more sturdier than using um, acrylic paint. But other than that, it is a pretty cool way and get crispier lines than using Dawn dish soap. So I do recommend this way. If you want to try using Elmer's glue, I do recommend it. Um, so I am going to redo this and I'm probably going to do a different color scheme. But um, let me know if I did it pretty close, but I'm going to give you a more up close um, shot of this tumbler. Everyone's outside today. It is summer. So, but um, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one.